What's up, guys? We are back with Snap On. Snap On. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but Snap On is pretty cool. Unless you're one of the Snap On haters, of course. But really, though, what we're going to get into today is showing everybody what JBA Off Road's about. If you haven't heard JBA Off Road, I'm going to plug him right now. Um, the owner of JBA, this Marlin. He is a really cool dude. I've talked to him a couple times. He stands behind his products really well. Just very impressive outfit. Um, he specializes in your KJ platforms, your WK platforms, your XK platforms, all these Jeep platforms that a lot of diehard like Wrangler guys kind of hate on. Um, this guy finds a way to make him cool and reliable for wheeling, uh, mainly because of the independent front suspension. So once again, this is JBA Off-Road, and if you haven't looked into them yet for your any of your newer style G platforms, basically with an independent front suspension, definitely check this guy out. Give him a call. Tell him how awesome his stuff is. Um, and look at this warranty. I mean, this is in every box, so it's pretty cool. Hopefully, me making this video makes him want to sponsor me or something like that, but uh, probably not. So anyhow... We have a Commander. This is actually a really cool Commander. It's a uh, it's a Hemi version Commander, and it's got all these crazy bells and whistles. I don't even know they really made these things, um, but they're super super neat with the Hemi. Um, they're way beefier. The interior's way cooler. Um, they got leather and stuff like that. So anyhow, um, oh, they have walkers too, I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyhow, this, uh, this customer here wanted these JBA upper control arms. And I know the lighting's terrible, but I wanted to give you a quick, just a quick view of what these things are. I wanted to get a video before we installed it so you can see how awesome these arms are designed. But the stock ones are very flimsy, just crap. Um, these ball joints are rebuildable, removable, greasable. The angle's even different. So you're not putting the suspension on this really screwed up angle when you lift these things. And this is just a view of the install. Basically, uh, here, this comes off. Your caliper comes off. Your tie rod comes off. Sway bar. That all comes off and you swing the knuckle all the way out. And then, um... You pull the strut out of the way, which you can barely see back here. The strut comes out of the way a little bit, and then you can remove your stock, stock arms. But these are really nice, guys. I mean, seriously impressive product. I highly recommend these to anybody with a Jeep platform that has independent front suspension. JBA Off-Road, really coming through. The, uh, the stock control arms right here and these things are just garbage I mean look at these look at this crap this is the stock freaking arm compared to this nice beef up here it's just a night and day difference I wish I had these things out so you can see them but we're on time constraints today because the shop is super slammed we just got uh, we got vehicles everywhere, and we got Jeeps everywhere. And uh, this is my shop, my main shop. Um, we have a second shop for mainly Jeep stuff that we're kind of trying to get into. Anyhow, <coughs> like and subscribe, and definitely hit these guys up, JBA. Like and subscribe, since you've seen it from Campbell's Auto. That uh, you've seen the YouTube channel from uh, Campbell's Auto and Customs, and they said how awesome they are because... They are awesome. That's it for today, guys. Um, once again, hopefully we get some better equipment coming very soon.